Welcome back everyone, this is Frank DeMora and this is going to be the second video for March 5th, 2012. And if you just found my YouTube channel, please go to my prophecy site, BibleProphecyMan.com and when you're there, just scroll down, you'll see the book, below it is a link, click the link, you can download the book today for free. Now let me get right into some of the other prophecies that I did not cover today. and We just made it to this section right here. Now this is a prophecy about warring, uh, what the, the church was going to be facing during the time of the end. And obviously there was going to be a battle between good and evil, between Christ and Satan, between Christ's church and uh, demonic activity. And so in Ephesians 6.12 we read this, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Now this morning, or my previous video, I showed you there was an incident about a 13-year-old person that was doused with gasoline on her head and uh, lit on fire. And believe me, this is war. This is darkness spiritual wickedness in high places. I mean, they're affecting kids. Satan is affecting kids. He is wrecking lives, and his, he is known as the destroyer. So let me ask you this. What is the first thing Jesus did when his ministry began on earth? Well, it's this. He first took his message of salvation to the Jews, but most of them refused to believe that he was the Christ. Now, Satan has been warring against God's plan for the Jews then, and he hasn't stopped. And he, he doesn't want the Jews to come to the knowledge that he is Jesus Christ, the Savior that they've been waiting for. And if the Jews understood and read their, their Old Testament, they would see that Jesus Christ had fulfilled every one of the requirements of, as it was laid down in prophecy from their own writings about the Messiah. But in any case, here's a, a little glimpse of some of the spiritual warfare, because if Satan has been attacking the Jews back at the time when Jesus first went into Israel, he carried the message to the Jews, and then when the Jews didn't receive it, guess what? He went to the Gentiles, and the Gentiles, especially under Paul, who wrote the Ephesians 6.12, it was given to him by the Lord, that uh, the, the church uh, started to uh, grow, and it grew and grew until you see what it is today. But there's definitely spiritual wickedness going on, and here is just a small example of this. It says, dozens of mail deliverers who were supposed to be delivered copies of the Christian New Testament Bible to homes in Ram at Gan refused to do so, arguing that the deliveries constituted missionary material. So you can, here's the link for it. You can click here. But essentially what you have here is you have some of the Jews do not want this Bible the the Holy Bible to go into Jerusalem because they don't want the Jews to be exposed to uh, Christianity or Jesus Christ. Now there has been a movement in Israel by the way that many Jews are coming to know Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ as their Messiah. And so in, in many parts of the world for example like Iran for example um, they'll kill you in Iran, if you try to, to proselytize any of the uh, any people in Iran who are Islamic, I mean they're especially in Iran. But uh, so we see war going on again. Satan doesn't want the word to come into Israel, and he's doing the exact same thing that happened when Jesus first came. He's trying to get the Jews to believe that uh, this is a foreign gospel and that Jesus, even though that he was a prophet, that he was not God, and that is a big mistake. Now, at a time when uh, 
this all of these prophecies are taking place as you see as I wrote here it says I don't think it is a coincidence that at a time when we are witnessing all the last days signs that new discoveries concerning the Bible and Christ are being discovered at the same time no why this discovery now of course you probably know what I'm talking about but when you watch this video here you'll see that in this video it points to the the uh, not only is the Bible true but it shows the earlier writings are also true of the Bible and this is a really good video to watch it's not very long but it's very good it's from a news agency but when you watch this video please keep this in mind this what I'd like you to keep in mind is John 2029 this is the words of Jesus Christ that he spoke to Thomas who didn't believe uh, that the, the Messiah had come back again from the dead unless he saw him and Thomas was in the upper room when Jesus came and uh, he actually showed him the, the prints in his hands and in his feet and his side uh, that it was Jesus Christ and look what Jesus told him He's, and this is the scripture Jesus said unto him Thomas because you have seen me you have believed blessed are they that have not seen yet they have believed now when you watch the video you will see the news pointing to the fact that yes the Bible is true and if the Bible is true and you see the story of if a Jonah is true and some of these other uh, discoveries that they're made are true then do you really need this kind of information as proof to have faith that Christ rose from the dead and he's coming soon I'm praying that you will be following the words of Jesus Christ and be blessed even though that you haven't seen the Lord person to person face to face and we know that uh, you will see him face to face on the day that you stand before the judgment seat if you do not know the Lord but if you know the Lord uh, you're you are not condemned you will not be judged uh, because your judgment um, of the day of where you're going to spend eternity will be already have been sealed if you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior he is our advocate who will stand before us presenting us innocent before the Lord God and so if you haven't received Jesus Christ you really need to be uh, receiving him now and I'm, I'm hoping that this video will will help you understand that the Bible is true. Jesus is true. He rose from the dead. And he is going to return again soon, just like he said. Now, this is a picture that I didn't mention. It's a missionary by the name of James Joseph. And uh, he's out there preaching just like Jesus did. And I would imagine he has really stirred up a lot of people who don't want the gospel to be preached. But these are the last days and there's no doubt in my mind that the events that we've been talking about are going to get much worse and you will start seeing these things in the news and conclude and uh, including uh, some wars that are, are coming up just like the Lord said and we know where they're going to be uh, so if there's anything else I can tell you is keep your eyes on the Middle East because you're going to see the Middle East explode I believe that it could happen with Syria, could happen with Iran, and uh, but we do know that it is coming up, and I believe it's coming up sooner than you think.